Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you so dearly for always tuning in. I really appreciate. Today, the first time you are coming across us, uh, so you are hearing this voice for the first time. We still remain progress news and we give you all the latest updates. Remember, in this platform, we react to all videos and your opinion is highly needed. So sit back, watch this video, and I'll be right back. Welcome back to the second segment of the second year commemorative ceremony of the state of Biafra. Second segment is the prophecy and its fulfillment. Being the second year anniversary of Biafran sovereignty and inauguration of Biafran government, BPG, which is the government of Kichku Oke Abiyama, we take preeminence in our lives so we can be able to go over there to sacrifice our lives that our people might live as an independent nation. That is where we are here today. To give time to Tuku Oke Oke Abiyama for making it possible for us to see the brightness and to be able to celebrate the Biafra as a government which the world is now watching. Thank you, but before I proceed, I have I want to render some words from the scripture. First of all, I would like us to bow down our heads in prayer. Oh Tuku Oke Abiyama. That is not as Bible. But the Israel name is known as Mba Olaw. Because of the white man cannot be able to pronounce the name Mba Olaw. That's why they call it Bible. So, for the scripture, where we want to read this moment, Amos chapter 8, from verse 11 through 13. It says, The days are coming, declared the sovereign Lord, Tuku Oke Abiyama, when I will send a famine to the land. Not a famine of food, or a thirsty for water, but a famine of hearing the word of the Lord to put okay Abiyama. But swift, men will stagger from sea and water from north to east, searching for the word of the Lord, but they will not find it. Verse 13. In that day, the lovely young women and strong young men will faint because of thirst. All right now. I proceed. Go to the book of Amos. Now is the time to give the world the water and the bread of life. What do I mean by the water and the bread of life? I'm not talking about the physical water that we drink, nor the natural bread that we eat. As Amos says, that Chukwu Kiyama says, that this day will be a day of great famine, though there are hungers everywhere, but not about this particular hunger he's talking about. He's talking about, about the hunger about God's kingdom. Which, country, which kingdom am I talking about? The fourth kingdom of God and earth, which is the state of Biafra. People are thirsty to see this Biafra being materialized, to see this Biafra come to coming into existence. According to the book of Amos chapter 8, from verse 11 to 13, where we read, it says, Now it is the time of great famine, famine of fearing the world about God's kingdom. First Corinthians 13, verse 10 says, But when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. Though Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 said, For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. What do I mean by perfection? There are there's been a lot of groups here and there campaigning or agitating for Biafra and whatever and, and the rest. But when the perfect one comes, other ones disappear. And today I am presenting I am presenting to you the Biafra provincial government with BPG, which is government of the state of Biafra, because people are thirsty to hear from most high. People are thirsty to understand, to know when this Biafra will come, even including the angels in heaven. Just follow me presently. I will open your eyes as I go on. I got to 1 Corinthians 13, verse 10. It says, but when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. The apostle in 1 Corinthians 10, 13 said, for we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. All gospel preachers are trying to preach or interpret the revelation, but it is beyond human wisdom. Is beyond human wisdom and listen very carefully and attentively. That is not how you can get the interpretation without first of all separating God's kingdom from heaven. God's kingdom is quite different, heaven is quite different. God's kingdom is a nation where God will raise, where his people will dwell here on earth, whereas heaven is a home of both sides. Listen very well as I carry you along. Several attempts are being harangued on several denominations, and people get followed with it with it because of the way some of the churches are preaching, talking this and this and that. It makes our people not to think very well. They begin to deviate from the righteousness, thinking that that is the way. That's why I'm here today to let you know 
Now, that kingdom you have been spreading, which is the nation Biafra, is here with you. And very soon, it will get to your doorstep. Let me tell you once again, heavens are homes for spirit after death. Heavens are home made for spirit after death. But God's kingdom is a nation which God has chosen to be his dwelling place here on earth. It is through this kingdom or nation called Biafra that God will rule the universe when it is well established. As you are seeing the establishment of the government of Biafra. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 2 to 4. He says, in that last days, the mountain of the Lord, temple will be established as chief among the mountains. It will be raised above the hills, and all nations will stream to it. Verse 3 says, many people will come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us the ways, so that we may walk in his path. The Lord will go out from Zion. The Lord, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Verse 4. I will judge between the nations and will settle disputes for many people. They will be their swords into plushes and their spears into running hooks. Nations will not take up swords against nations, nor will train for war anymore. According to the book of Isaiah 2 verse 4, I interpret, we stated that it is this kingdom or nation called Biafra that shall bring peace to the whole world of which without the world, of which without the world will never know and experience peace. That is why you see everywhere rumors of war here and there, here and there. Unless the Biafra is totally free, there is no way the world will know freedom. Because they are the one holding Biafra. Because Almighty Tuko Kiyabi has decided that we, that we will have Biafra. So no power on this surface of earth will stop it. The question is, when and where will this kingdom or nation of Biafra come? Daniel chapter 8 verse 14. He said it to me, and, I, and it will take up to 2,300 even a morning. Then the sanctuary will be restored. Take for instance in Daniel chapter 8 verse 14. There was a controversy in heaven about this kingdom and nation of Biafra, which prompted the first or one of the angels to ask, but when truly will this kingdom called Biafra come? In heaven, there were very big disagreements over there because of the kingdom of Mosai that he wants to establish here on earth, which is called Biafra. They will be asking, when will this kingdom come? How will this kingdom be? In that same Daniel 8 verse 14, one angel answered the other and said that it will take up to 2,300 days before the kingdom of nation of Biafra come after the rise of British empires, 333 BC. Psalm 90 verse 4 says, A thousand years is in a thousand year in our sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. A day in God's eye is a thousand years in our own eyes. According to the Psalmist chapter 10, verse 4. Which means this 2,300 days is 2,300 years in our eyes. Now, 2,300 years minus 333 BC. I mean, 2,300 days, as the angel said, minus, he said, he said it will come after the rise of Grisha Empire in the year 333 BC. Then, when you minus 2,300 years, 2,300 years, then minus 333, what will it give you? It will give you 1,967 AD, which means that Biafra, the nation of Biafra will begin in the year 1967. That is what it means there. 1967, 1,967, 1,967. That's what it means. The kingdom of Biafra will begin the year 1967 after the death of the Christ. This simply means that the kingdom of nation of Biafra would begin in the year 1967 AD. Remember, the book of the they saw the combination of iron. That iron, as you saw in the vision, represents the houses and the clay. The clay, the clay represents the Yoruba, forming alliance against the rise of God's kingdom on nation of Biafra. I go to Daniel chapter 2 from verse 40, 41 to 43. Because of time, I will jump it. It says, they will try to strengthen their alliance with intermarriage of their sons. But the alliance wouldn't succeed because iron can mix with clay. It was the time when MKO Abiola's child wanted to marry Babangida's child that a total disagreement on both sides and principle broke out, which later resulted to the death of MKO Abiola, who boasted that he can do without the evils. In order, he can do without the evils. In quote, he can do without the God's kingdom or nation of Biafra in order to be more united with the Aosa. Because of our time, as we are about to inaugurate our destiny, our taking the next version we are taking from the scripture uh, is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, from verse 1 through 9. You can go that at your own covenant time. Then it says, Then 21 verse 1, verse 1 says, Then I saw an, a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer. Then you see, which means, then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. 
Meaning, Biafra as a nation and their God, Tupu Oki Abiyama as their king, as a new heaven you are seeing, for the first seven and the first eight has passed away, meaning that Nigeria as a country, marginalizing the people of Biafra and pretend as their spiritual mentor, we no longer govern the affairs of Biafra and its people. And there was no longer any sea, meaning that the problem and sufferings against Biafra, the abuse of human rights and freedom of and, and freedom by the Nigerian forces will pass away. Likewise, the presence of the colonial British forces will cease to exist in the lives of Biafras. Because a new kingdom, which is the kingdom of Mosai, is about to come. We are the people of Biafra will be free once and for all. Verse 2 says, I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautiful dress for the husband. When this flag will go up for Mosai to come down and take a face of the uh, of Biafra Christian government, you will see how glorious it's going to be. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, meaning the dedication of Biafra to the most side to Oki Abiyama, as about to dedicate it to, dedicate it to, to most side today. A bravery food race means the raising of the 11 Biafra flags in honor of our king, the ruler, Tuku Oki Abiyama. Hegai chapter 2, verse 9 says, The glory of the present, of this present house will be greater than that, than the glory of the former house, says the Lord Almighty. And in that place, I will grant peace, declare the Lord Almighty. That's why, as you can see, the Hamas, the Palestinians, all those things, killing themselves about the Israelites. Thinking that the glory is there. The glory is no more there. God has separated it. It's no longer there. The glory we are talking about is about the, is, is the kingdom of God here on earth. The first kingdom of God here on earth, which is the nation, Biafra. We are, we are God will be honored. We are God will, be, will take preeminence. We are God will be our king. And we will be his children. That's why here he's saying. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men. And he will live with them. They will be his people. And God himself will be with them. And be their God. And I heard a loud voice from the throne. Meaning, as you are hearing my voice, passing the message to you now. And also the sound of the Amado Intercontinental Ballistic Missile that will be launched for the throne after this message. In order to usher in the Most High. Now, a dwelling place of God is with men. Meaning that Biafra as a nation is existing and, and Chuku Oki Abiyama is present among us. Biafra is the first kingdom of God on earth. And the dwelling place of God. No two ways about that. That is why you see us bearing our name. Chokwodi, Chukwebuka, Tiamaka. All these things, we are being called upon the name of Mosai. Because we are the people of Chuku Oke Abiyama. And no two ways about that. And he will live with us. And after the, after today's dedication, Almighty Mosai will come down. Sufferings. As soon as this Biafran government is being established, all these sufferings, all the marginalization from the Nigerian government will stop. From British will stop. Then, God will wipe away our tears. Things will begin to move accordingly for us. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, meaning every violence, killing or imprisonment of Biafra shall be passed away. Also, intimidation, unwarranted courts, adjournment and injustice by the Nigerian state judiciary will no longer happen to our people. Take for instance, you can see what they have been doing, the leader of IPOB, Martin Nandekano, upon the competent uh, court of jurisdiction has discharged and acquitted and the zoo government as zoo they are being known refuse to let him go. All these things, God is going to wipe them away from our eyes. All these unnecessary killing, extrajudicially killing, all these things are going to stop. All these things are going to stop. That is why people are thirsty to hear about God's kingdom, to know how and where the kingdom is coming. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Meaning after the dedication of our nation, Biafra to the Most High, there will be a new Law made and ordained by the Most High and not that of Nigeria. The law will be perfect to the people of Biafra. Write this down. For these ways are trustworthy and true. Meaning today mark the fulfillment of the words as was given to John the Beloved. Because it, it was John the Beloved that Most High showed this thing how this country will be. He said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha. And the Omega, the beginning and the end. Meaning, Tuku Oki Abiyama is saying to us that he is Biafra and your government. He is Biafra and your government that is being dedicated to the most side. Which means God will take affairs of all these things that we are doing. Because of our time, I want to round it up. Now, verse 9. One of the seven angels who had the seven powers, full of the seven last plagues, come and showed, I said to me, Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. Meaning that the Biafran army is the bride, the wife of the Lamb that is ordained. To forestall every form of suffering planned against the people of Biafra. The seven plagues are the indeed the seven plague pla the seven plagues are the indigenous made war missionary product by engineers and scientists of Biafra National Guide, being that will be used to unleash and pay back to Nigeria 
and their founding fathers for all the sufferings of their friends. Which is to say, at the end of all these things, the sufferings which the NGO is going to list on Nigerian government will, will be used by the Biafran army with all our digital products that we use to destroy Nigeria and their cohort. And the British will no longer take us as our merchandise. The British will no longer be tormenting us, using all these South Africa need to torment us again. Today, as we welcome both sides to OK Abiyama, may to OK Abiyama bless his word and bless his children. I will sacrifice, as we sacrifice our lives to defend our people, may his name alone be praised now and forevermore. Ise, Ise, Ise. 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 Time to usher in Musa to come and take permanency, for this country belongs to him. Now is the ushering of the Most High Chukoke Abiyama, the handover of his government, the Afghan provisional government, to the sovereign. This is the raising of the level flag to usher the most high to hand over his government. The raising of the level flag. Let's sing for joy, his kingdom is bestowed. Let's shout for joy, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord, oh, Biafra, oh, Biafra, kingdom of God on earth, oh, Biafra, the victory is sure. Victory, victory, oh, victory, oh, victory. We are proud to your rest, kingdom of God on earth. Let's sing for joy, let's shout for joy. Give the Lord a praise. Victory is won, go dead and good tidings. For everlasting joy, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh beautiful Zion, oh Biafra, oh Biafra. The dwelling place of God. Victory! 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 Our heart is glad, our flag is white. Victory! 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 Our flag is a dwelling place of God. Victory! 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 Our heart is glad, our flag is white. Life and blessing forever reign on us, O Chukwu Oke Adiyama. Ise, Ise, Ise. 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 Ise.
This is the handover of the Biafran provincial government to the most high From provincial government, be pity with you. As you're about to worship Mosai again now, I will send you to the sky to worship Mosai. Why give not grace? I will send you to have my reboot here with me. Oh, 